Today we got the opportunity to converse with Saundarya Pradhan who happens to be this year's second runner up in the National Chess Championship for the Blind. He hails from the state of Odisha but what makes him truly special are his extraordinary abilities which he has developed himself over the years. He has tremendous knowledge and insight into life and the quality which is most admirable in him is his curiosity and constant thirst for learning so let's meet sandarya and know it from him how he is able to do things which most humans would think are superhuman so sandarya hi uh, hi what are we going to do right now now i'll show you how a blind person can use a computer okay um, so i'm i'm uh, shifting my camera on your screen right now yeah so basically one thing we need to understand that we should focus on the keyboard more than the mouse okay uh, with modern technology it's somehow possible to use the mouse but um, you know we can do everything just everything with the keyboard mm -hmm. uh, in most of the softwares so you know it's necessary to be good at using the keyboard like i i, can, I i'll show you like how quickly i can do stuff in the keyboard like for example i want to open the notepad I will simply press the Windows and R key. The run from comes. I'll type Notepad and enter. Okay. I'll first. Uh, okay. I think this might be quite fast, so I'll decrease the speed of my software. So. Which software is that? It, it's JAWS. JAWS. Okay. So you going to uh, one yeah. thing which I wanted to do is uh, see your typing speed because you said you type very fast. Yeah. So how about? Uh, Fast, wide. Yeah. What did you write? I, I type quite fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So where did you learn how to type? It's like uh, that time I did not even know how to use the computer. Like, uh, and at first when I typed, I had to like count Q W E R T Y like this and. You know, you have the like entire. Uh, I mean, you, it's you. You're used to it, but do you yeah. remember the entire keyboard? Uh, what are the letters? Yeah, but I I don't use touch typing. Hmm. Touch typing in the sense like they put fingers here like yeah, this and yeah. that. I I don't do that, but I think I should do. I I would be even faster. Uh, I have seen some blind people who are uh, way more faster than me. Like, but but they use touch typing. They type that way, and that's. I I really need to learn it. So tell us how how do you work on chess and how how a blind player Okay at, at first I just like to you know uh, it will be quite difficult for the viewers to believe that we can use the computer like this so I'll just show them how we can use the computer like how uh, I'll just prove it to them that it's possible Okay It will be quite uh, uh, difficult to believe I think if they don't see it at first when i heard that blind people use computers i also could not believe it hmm. although i am myself blind so when i got <laughs> when i got it I felt like wow, it's amazing. Like I can uh, now, I can compete with the sighted people, and that's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, recently, I read a book uh, written by Helen Keller. The name of the book was "The Story of My Life." It was an autobiography, mm -hmm. and uh, I think when she was just 19 months, she got some very big disease, and uh, she lost her sight, she lost her hearing, she could not see, and she could not hear. And um, when she was like seven years old or something like that, a teacher came to her house and she just uh, like uh, wrote something like D O L L like this. I can't do it so well. That's how her teacher taught her some words, and she used to go and mimic what she learned from the teacher. She she will type the same thing in someone else's uh, palm, right? and that's how she learned how to write and uh, she became a very you know intellectual type person and her english is actually so strong i cannot sometimes understand it so uh, w i feel like when she learned how to communicate with others she must have got a very unique feeling mm. something like that i got when i got my laptop when, or when i got my computer mm -hmm. how to type like that I, I felt like a new world is now open for me. Correct. Now you increase the speed again, na? Uh, uh, actually, by default, it's quite fast. At first, when I uh, used my laptop, I used it very slow. 
Mm. But then uh, I'll just show you in which speed I read. I open. I'll open my last note. Save this there. Um. It's open. Yeah. This is actually my chemistry notes. I have written it. You have written it on your own. Yeah, I have written it and I have given it to my friends. They liked it so much, so they did Xerox and all that. <laughs> they said this is a very nice note. So, yeah, this is my note. I took help of my teacher. Hmm. Like when I had some doubts and all that. The speed that I read in is like this. Are you serious? Yeah. It's at crystalline solids. Okay, no, no. Let, yeah. let me, let me, let me use this once again. Yeah. This down array is somewhat okay, broken. Yeah. What did he say? These are anisotropic, uh, something like in nature. Uh, different properties of different directions, something like that. I mean, I read the whole sentence in just a few seconds, so I understand the sense of it, hmm. but I cannot maybe repeat the entire sentence, but I got it. Uh, I, I'll show some. In this line, it said different values in different directions. Now it said amorphous solids. In the amorphous solids, the constituent particles are arranged in some regular pattern, things like that, it said. It's oh, uh, you are reading at twice the speed what normal people maybe not no, no, twice, no, no, even much twice. more much yeah. more yeah like my my parents can't understand it they they, they like they they feel sometimes they say that I'm cheating them <laughs> <laughs> if, if it seems like you have some superpower <laughs> no not really like um, I just uh, as I said the speed that I used was this solid state solid state one definite shape one definite shape two definite volume two definite volume four these yeah. kind of things yeah. okay this is understandable but uh, okay one needs to get used to the accent and all that it's american accent yeah okay, but so little, i i increased my speed quite a lot Right. Now we have a taste of how you read stuff. It's basically written somewhere and you use the JAWS software which reads yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Even NVDA. And there is another software called NVDA. It can read out the text. Okay. Now I'll show you how I just... I navigate using my up and down arrow. It's a Kaspersky antivirus EPUB file reader. It's an EPUB file reader. It's like you know, it's an engine. Mm. It's not a human, so sometimes it does not pronounce the way we want to hear it. Team Talk Five Classic, Excel 2013, ABVY Find Reader, FS Reader Three. Okay, this is the speed that I. I, I You know, I played today some blindfold chess yeah. by putting a handkerchief around my eyes. Yeah. And I was playing on this board that yeah. is in front of you right now. Yeah. And it was so difficult to place the pieces inside these holes, you know. That yeah, you yeah, have. yeah. So I'm going to ask you to do something for me. I'm going yeah. to call out moves. Yeah. And you have to try to. So, for example, when I used to make the move E5, huh. I would, you know, yeah, try like to. Yeah. So put it in, but it was very difficult. Yeah. And you cannot see anything, right? Yeah. You're, yeah. Uh, hundred percent. Uh, yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent blind. So can, I'll call out the moves. Yeah. And you need to make the moves on the board. Yeah. Yeah. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, c3, knight f6, d4, e d4, c d4, bishop b4. BD2, BD2, Knight D2, D5, ED5, Knight D5, Queen B3, Knight A5, Queen A4 check, Knight C6, Queen B3, 
95 draw ya yeah? <laughs> <laughs> how do you do this it's actually practice and uh, if i do it on my board i think i can do even faster um, that's slightly different But that's a folding type board you placed all the pieces right into these uh, holes in between uh, how how do you do that i mean no, just to, practice, to be yeah? to be honest i also do like this but the fact is that uh, when you are doing it uh, with your eyes folded uh, i mean uh, like yeah. ha- with handkerchief it's difficult for you because you will do it all the while i mean in uh, all places of the square mm. mostly but about me i can do it just near the center right because of practice okay and sometimes it will go right into the hole so since when have you been playing chess and how did you start with it uh, i started playing chess actually when i was like 9 10 years old but actually i knew the rules of chess when i was around 4 or 5 i have an uncle his name is kesha ranjan prasan okay he is a retired professor in english and he is also a chess player he has represented odisha four times in national b i mean cited national b so you know like he started chess in my family and so when he taught you for the first time how exactly did he teach or explain the game to you when my brother learned chess i think it was a bit more complicated but when i started chess we already knew about the blind chess board like if you want i can explain it here yeah the dark squares are raised okay so that when we are touching hmm. we can feel that this is a dark square and this is a light square and that is how we you know differentiate between two neighboring squares and definitely we can recognize the pieces by their shapes and the black pieces have a dot over them which helps us recognize whether it is white or black okay one thing i was always curious to know was uh, how do you perceive dreams so you are just trying to find out like uh, how blind people dream and things like that i think yes yeah i also dream and i also don't know about uh, other people Okay. But my dreams are very very strange like sometimes I will have an endless fall you know like uh, I'll fall down in space and I will never like, I'll never reach the ground things like that happen I think other people also have such dreams like I have asked a few people so uh, I even have music in my dreams like you okay. have in like films and serials but it's not always sometimes it happens So I think this is because uh, we have like a much more uh, strength in imagination okay because it's completely necessary for us to imagine things mm-hmm. for example i am a student of science so especially for me imagination is very very important i have to visualize the diagrams i have to solve uh, questions of mathematics up to pages long and my my field of interest which is astrophysics okay is uh, like it's full of imagination yes So and also also the mm-hmm. other other field i like is uh, you know atomic physics okay. quantum physics these kind yes. of things so things that we can't see so you must have read a lot about einstein and stephen hawking i have read stephen hawking's a brief history of time book okay and uh, that really inspired me like when i was like 7 or 8 years old i mm-hmm. read it once no oh, no not uh, i'm sorry like 7 or 8 class mm-hmm. uh, i read it once and then uh, recently also i read it again and each time i read it i find something very new because he has explained the very difficult concepts of the universe mm-hmm. in terms that are understandable for very common people mm-hmm. so uh, as i improve in my abilities of understanding mm-hmm. science and technology and all these mm-hmm. things i find many new things when i read that book mm-hmm. I'm also intrigued by your thoughts and views on these deeper topics like how did the universe come into existence or does god exist if you could elaborate on that I don't understand what you mean by god you know the thing is that like, some people say mm-hmm. somebody who is you know extremely powerful can do anything mm-hmm. and he is uh, very very merciful mm-hmm. uh, and uh, he takes care of everything and all that thing i think that may be no i don't believe in it that's because uh, i think so many problems would not be there if someone is too much right. powerful and uh, merciful at the same time true yeah but 
but still i can say that this is a logic of my level i mean only my, uh, my brain is giving this mm-hmm. logic who knows there might be some higher logic uh, that maybe i am not capable of understanding mm-hmm. or making but i really do not believe that there is someone who is really taking care of the world okay if so then now uh, world war 1 would not have happened two would not have happened so many people would not have died there would not be inequalities and uh, like we would not wait we would not need to wait till the 21st century uh, to get opportunities for the blind people <laughs> so, yeah if you ask me do you know if god exists or not then i will say no i don't know the answer to this question this is beyond my capacity to think or to even uh, you know find logics but one thing i can say is that if the question is do you believe that there is someone who is omnipotent omnipresent and all these things then i think no okay but if if we somehow modify the definition of god if you say omnipresent mm-hmm. then yes like uh, you can say the nature that's okay. also omnipotent i mean very okay. much powerful okay. but that is not merciful okay that has given us a lot but that takes away also right i think things happen according to some laws of nature mm-hmm. uh i don't think that laws are broken okay maybe we don't know uh, like if we find some theories uh, disproved or mm-hmm. if we find some new theories mm-hmm. uh, which are not consistent with the old ones it okay. means that our understanding of the universe was not right before okay or maybe right now we are finding something uh, i mean maybe our observations and things like that are wrong mm-hmm. but okay. like you know i was uh, reading a Okay. Book by uh, R- Richard Feynman. Okay. He was a physics professor okay. and he said that like especially in the game of chess like mm-hmm. suppose we see that uh, there is only one bishop that white has mm-hmm. and that bishop is in the light square. Mm-hmm. So what we think is that there can be no bishop which will be in the dark square. But mm-hmm. suppose after 20 minutes we find that there is a bishop in the dark mm-hmm. square. Mm-hmm. Now we have to find out some new laws we have to analyze the situation and what we will ultimately conclude is that the light square bishop has been captured and another pawn has been promoted to a dark squared bishop right so you know these kind of things are possible i think that we are definitely i mean not so much talented yet to understand um, mm-hmm. if things exist but some people take the benefit of like uh, just to prove their points they will Uh, you know make use of the weaknesses of science like some we don't know everything mm-hmm. and then say since science doesn't know everything god exists i don't understand what's the point behind it we don't know everything you don't know everything so i right. <laughs> we still have to learn a lot yes it is indeed a rare privilege for a blind lad of 17 to be here and interact with the people's representatives to the highest body of indian democracy there are myths about blindness but the ignorance even at the top level hurts more the blind people of the 21st century have immensely benefited from computer aided education but all my textbooks are not available in such formats it is practically impossible for a visually challenged student to study the science text however the solution to this problem is very simple and straightforward just provide them with audio books daisy books and tactile diagrams while there are practical solution for any complicated problem the socio economic scenario presents real hurdles most of the members of my community do not have access to computers and even they don't know that they can use the smartphone very well and very fast i raised many eyebrows of my well wishers when i decided to take up science in class 11 i have set a goal to study and undertake research works in astrophysics in institutes like isro or nasa i ask for only one thing I should not be deprived of reaching my goals only because I am blind.